what I'm going to be doing today is replacing the threaded rod on the clutch slave cylinder just the rod itself because I think it's threaded towards the end and I can't adjust the clutch properly anymore so here on the vehicle um, I'm going to replace the threaded rod because it's threaded towards the end of it and I can't adjust the clutch anymore I've got some um, washers in there to give it that uh, extra push but they keep on wearing out so um, I'm going to replace that um, rod first we remove the spring With the help of a screwdriver it should be easier. And that's the spring gone. Next I'll um, do these two bolts holding the uh, slave cylinder. I've got these on Allen key bolts. Let's undo them. And just come out. And then a little washer that I had in there come out as well. So it was gone. That just swings out of the way. Like that. And now I'll just pull out this uh, rod together with the dust boot and fit the new one on there this is all that's left of those spacer washers that I've put in there to get it working uh, without a new one of these and that's gone worn out with the new one I'll just do the same thing and pull it out out of the dust cap like that and I'm going to fit new one of those and keep that one just in case the old one breaks one day now what you want to do is um, adjust the adjuster to similar length is that one and fit the new uh, the old boot to the new rod or you can use the new boot that you had from the old uh, new with the, that came with the new cylinder so that one can screw it out to about the same length as that or actually a little bit more because we're using washers there so somewhere there Get the lock nut there as well, somewhere close to it. Now we'll fit the boot to this. With the boot, the open end goes to, on towards the non-threaded part, and this part of here locks on these grooves here. So let's do that. There. like that and that's ready to be fitted to the old cylinder this one goes back in the box for later now with the tip of this uh, rod greased up I fit the boot like that and it's ready for, to bolt back into its place so ready to go in of course without undoing any of the hydraulic uh, connections um, and saving yourself 
a bit of time also grease up that um, the other tip that goes into the fork in this case I greased up the inside of the fork here um, so that's ready to go back in place like that and our allen keys bolts on there like that Tool map tight. Yeah, tool map tight with the Allen key. You won't have Allen key bolts here. Um, I reckon you'll have 11 mil or 12 mil bolts here. I fitted the Allen key bolts myself. And that is done here. And at the top. And we get a bit of free play still, so we'll adjust this next. So here I've just done it finger tight up to the stop of the um, fork, and you don't want any preload on that anyway, so it's still a little bit loose, that's where you want it. And now just tighten up with a lock nut, fit the spring and uh, test it out. Here for the adjuster you need a 14mm open end spanner and for the lock nut you need a 12mm open end spanner and um, do that now we'll lock the adjuster with a lock nut and now we fit the spring back on wherever that went to all right, the spring goes on here, one end here, the next end on the fork, that's on. And yeah, uh, this old adjuster was threaded at the end quite badly. That's why I couldn't get the adjustment on the clutch anymore. And I ended up sticking some shims in here for the time being just to uh, get it going. But uh, yeah, now that should be all good. So we're looking good with the new push rod there, all adjusted and ready to go. And here in better light you can see better what's happened with the thread on this push rod, it's damaged at the end. Thanks for watching and see you next to the previous video.